Well, Ian, let's just start with a bit of injury news. Kyle, what's the latest on him? Yeah, just uh, he was struggling a little bit with his back, so um, probably just needs a bit of a rest, but nothing major. Um, had some treatment today, didn't train, won't be available for um, for the game Tuesday night, but that's uh, just being a bit cautious around him and hopefully all being well, he should be back for the weekend. Was that almost pre-planned anyway? Was he potentially in line to, to take a bit of a back seat on that one? Yeah, we, well, we knew... Like we've, we looked at the games, we had Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Monday, and we said at some point, what's he's going to need a break? Um, so, I mean, the, the, he got a couple of big hits on it from the centre-halves at the, the weekend, so it figures that it makes sense to do it now. So give him a rest, freshen him up. I think it's important that we don't take any, any gambles at this stage. Wouldn't expect you to name any individual names, but are there other players in your thinking similar to, to Woods that might just need to be freshened up on Tuesday? Yeah, I'm thinking that, that that we've got a strong squad. We've demonstrated that several times through the season when we've rotated a little bit. And, and certainly, whether it's um, Tuesday at Dover or whether it's the Saturday and then Monday, we'll certainly need to utilise the squad because we're at a stage where players have played a long season and to overload them heavily now and, and pick up one or two injuries would be, um, would be really disappointing. So I think that there's a few that probably can do with freshening up. There's some that can probably play all three and then there'll be some that can play one or two of those games and we've just got to, to manage the squad accordingly. We're talking mid-afternoon Monday. I believe Kyle Cameron's in for a scan uh, on uh, later this evening just to mm. find out where he's up to in his progress. Yeah, hopefully we get good news. I spoke to him today and he was positive. I think he's been running really well and, he, and uh, the physios have been working well with him. So I think it's just a, a building him up, but we, we just need to see if we can take that next step now and, and join the training with the group and really push him. Uh, but I think the result of the scan later will give us an indication. And Richard Brindley's been back amongst it as well? Yeah, Brindley's uh, trained really hard today, uh, but we're just filtering him into some contact training. Obviously, with the, the cast on his wrist, we've just got to be aware that um, he has to come through those those stages. But all being well, we can we can um, increase his training load. Problem is, with so many games in a short space of time, we're not training with big group stuff that much. So um, the the physical coach huts and uh, and the physios are working hard with him. Dover then, what's the plan? When are you heading down there? We go tomorrow morning early um, and we'll arrive at Dover and then the players can rest at the hotel. So we're doing it all in one day. We've done two overnight stays down there already and uh, and it didn't work quite out how we wanted it to. So um, so no, we'll go down on the day. Um, it's a long trip, but you know, there's not many of them this season. And I think it would just, the group are great. They rarely, rarely complain about stuff. They they get on with it. Um, they know they've got a job to do. We'll go down there and hopefully do our job. Mm. I imagine you've been taking a good look at Dover today with with the staff and the players. Generally, I mean, we obviously know that they've had a, a bit of a resurgence recently. Mm. Generally, what do you make of them and what sort of threats will they pose? Yeah, I just watched the, the Chesterfield game um, now and then some of their last home game against Woking. And, and what I could say is they're a young team. Um, and credit to, to Andy Hessenthaler there because it's not easy. They, they start the season in minus points and they've had to fight just to get to zero. Um, and they're at that point where they know they've gone down, but they're not giving up. And I think anybody that can rally the group and, and get them to put in performances like, you know, go away at Chesterfield, 2-1 up. They were 5-2 up again away at Wrexham. They only got beat late goal away at Stockport, um, late goals away at Halifax. So beat Boreham Wood, it's, you know, they are not giving up. And I think they're showing that with that performances. They're young lads playing with huge enthusiasm. Of course, they, they've been a little bit open and conceded a lot of goals, but they, they're not making it easy for teams to play against them. And I think that's credit to them. So they're not, um, they're not playing like a team that's totally defeated. They're playing like a team that wants to still prove something. And I think we have to be ready for that. It feels like it's almost impossible to make any progress in the league table in this division, doesn't it? You know, we've been decent form over the last six, seven games, but we still find ourselves in seventh. Tomorrow presents us with an opportunity to climb up to fifth. Does that place any extra pressure or emphasis on the game for you and the players? Not really. I just think we, we need to keep keep winning games. Um, I mean, in the last seven, we've won five, drawn one, lost one. So I would say that form's good. We've scored plenty of goals in that period as well. So we've just got to continue with that. You know, hopefully we can make it six wins in eight after the, um, after tomorrow, but we need to put in a good performance. I think we need to put a better performance in than we did on Saturday. I thought there was uh, parts of the second half that were quite disappointing. So um, we have to strive to be much better than that performance-wise. And um, yeah, I think 
form's good, but we're not. We haven't moved. But that just shows the strength of the the league this year. I think seventy points we achieved now, um, which is what we got at the the whole of last season. So we have what five games to go, and we've already achieved the same amount of points that we did last season. But the fact that we sit in seventh, we finished fifth with seventy points last year. I think that just shows how strong the leagues are, how much teams have invested and strengthened this season, and how competitive it is. Final word on the fans, many of whom will have already made, like us, two wasted trips down to the Kent coast. Not sure how many will be there tomorrow, but uh, whoever is deserves an absolute medal, don't they? Oh, they do. Absolute legends. I've got to say, the, the, the guys that are travelling like this, and um, if they're going down for their third trip to Dover, I wish them a very, very safe travel. Um, hope to see them down there and hope we can put on a good performance for them.